Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, y'all. So, Devin the Dream Haney, who's undefeated, undisputed champion at 135 pounds, who has a record of 30 and 0. Devin Haney has vacated his belts at 135 pounds. And he pretty much said, you know, he has nothing else left to prove down there. He's moved up to 140, and he will be fighting Regis Progress in Atwell on December 9th. Make sure y'all check out the fights, order, and support it. But yeah, he's giving up all his belts. You know, he had all, all of the alphabet belts, WBA, WBC, IBF, and WBO. I also believe Devin Haney was lineal down there. Lineal champion. So he... I mean, he was undisputed, and he ended up moving to 140. There was rumors he might go back down there. So Shakur was a WBC now interim champion. Uh, Javante Tank Davis was the WBA regular champion. You, y'all know how boxing is. I yeah. So Devin Haney now that he's going to be fighting for the WBC title at 140, look like he's going to stay there. And maybe move up to 147 at some point. He does have a bigger body frame for a 140-147 fighter. But I'm going to keep it real with y'all. The way that Devin Haney was made fun of. He an email champion. He's not a real champion until he fights. Even when he fought Cambosas. He had to fight Lomachenko to get respect. I want to, I want people to keep that same energy because now that Steven uh Shakur Stevenson is the was the WBC regular champion, are they going to send him an email and elevate him? So now is he the email champion? Will Tank Davis be the email champion? Cuz look like all them sanctioned bodies now they're going to be giving out email belts, email titles. And again, if y'all call everybody email champion, sure. I seen a couple people make comments about boots, but I didn't see too many. If we go, if we're gonna be fair, we gotta be fair all the way across the board. But I don't blame Devin honestly for giving those belts up. There's no reason why him and Tank they're clearly not gonna fight, or they might have to fight at a catch weight. But it ain't gonna be right now. Teofimo moved up to 140 as a champion. Well, Ryan Garcia's moved up to 140. And all the best fights now are at 1-4. The only person really down there is taking Shakur. And neither one of them are going to fight Devin at this particular moment. So once Devin beats Regis Progress, which I believe he will, he'll be a five-time champion. And then hopefully he'll be able to unify. I know T.O. is going to make sure he stay away from him. But maybe he'll get, be able to get other unifications since he's one of the faces of the boxing. But, man, shout out to Devin. Man, you ain't got enough to prove, honestly. Especially at one at one thirty five, he was undisputed before the age of twenty five. I'm sure now. Listen, if if Devin Haney can become undisputed at one forty, we gotta do some talking about about him being up there in people's. He'll definitely move up in my top list. I'll say that. I don't know why I'm gonna have him ranked, but I mean, we one thing that we we have to give Devin Haney credit for is he was undisputed at the age before the age of twenty five. Tang Davis is what? How old is Tang Davis? I think he's 28 or 29. Uh, let me see. But Tank has never been undisputed. Let me see. How many? Tank's 29. So Tank would be... Well, he just turned 29. So Devin Haney became undisputed by the time he was 25. Before 25. And Tank's 29. And and he hasn't been undisputed. And he's also and he's a regular champion. Or now maybe an email champion. So I just wanted to give my my, my quick two thoughts on it. Uh, shout out to Devin Haney for becoming undisputed, moving up and facing a new challenge. And it seems like he only one that don't that's not ducking and dodging nobody. But tell me what y'all think. Do y'all care? Are y'all gonna call people email champions? Or who do y'all think is the man now at 135?